Are you ready to learn how I create YouTube thumbnails like these right here? These exact ones? So I want you to stick around because in this tutorial video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I do just that. My name is Simone Redman. I'm an online video strategist and a YouTube specialist. So in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I create my own YouTube thumbnails by using Canva. I'm going to share with you how I do that in this tutorial. So here we go. All right. So today I'm going to be showing you how I create my YouTube thumbnails by using Canva. Um, you can create them using Photoshop, but I'm not the best at Photoshop and Photoshop is like a very large learning curve so this video I'm going to show you how I do that so um, what I normally do is that I go to canva.com and then when it says design anything I'm going to type in YouTube thumbnail and as you see I have like other YouTube thumbnails too that I've created but this is the main one because it already gives you the pixel size that is correct um, and if say if you're like editing a video or anything like that for your videos for YouTube uh, and you want to like put like an image in there that kind of fits the entire screen using a YouTube thumbnail is the best way to do that okay so as you see they have very like not very they have tons of tons of thumbnails and templates that you can use now me personally I don't use them but say if, like if you wanted to do like a um you know they have things for travel tutorial beauty like they really do have a lot of templates that you can use so for me and my channel I normally do um tutorials that was not what I was trying to do let's go back <laughs> okay um let's look at all travel tutorial uh thumbnail or tutorial thumbnails so you can use these templates if you would like now me personally what i do is that i cut my picture out from the background and then use it on to canva so for instance let me share with you all right so i have like all my uploads here um let's see let's find one that does not have a background that i have used previously and all of these are loading I know there is one has to be yeah so I mean you can use really any image but me personally I like to use an image that has the background cut from it um, let's use this one and I use that I use Photoshop to do that okay because I really have not found a great app that allows you to um, you know cut the background out from your pictures very very well so there's a tutorial um that i'll probably create but there's a tutorial online it shows you how to do all of that so say i have um this thumbnail image right so say if i wanted to just keep it like that or whatever now i will tell you that the best colors best background colors for thumbnails to like really stand out and pop on youtube are blue orange green and yellow okay any derivative of those colors will kind of stand out and catch people's eye on youtube so me personally my branding color is like a kind of goldish color so what i like to do is use that excuse me it's so early in the morning so this is kind of like my branding color here and you see I have like all of my branding colors here. You can do that once you have established an account with Canva um, and it's $12.95 a month, but it's, I feel like it's so much better. Um, so we're creating them now. So what I like to do is I also like to use like elements and let's say square and we're going to choose a square here. And I just kind of want to make it like a uh, like a box or a tangle box or a tangle. And we can do a text. And what I like about Canva is that you are able to upload your own text that you can download from the internet. And let us choose this for now. We can say, hey, this. Okay. 
I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so it can kind of fit the box. And it's not gonna fit all the way, but I do want it to kind of fit. And that kind of gives you an idea of like how you can do all of this and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then you can like move this up and things like that which I absolutely love. Like this is, it's fun. Like creating a YouTube thumbnail on Canva really does bring out your creativity. And of course, you know, when you do it the first time, it's not gonna look perfect. It's not gonna be great. But the more that you do it, the better you become. Um, so we can actually click on this square, say if we wanna duplicate it, we don't wanna create another one or whatever. Um, and we want it to be like the same size. So let's move this. Here. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time today and um, what I can do is position this to go behind my image you see so that's how people do that like they create the image and they're like oh my gosh how did they have that behind their hand that's how right because the image is like like an overlay so we can do hey this is a YouTube Okay, tutorial. Almost forgot how to spell tutorial, everyone. So, I just kind of like use this, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but this is kind of like just the way of how I create mine sometimes. And I'm going to show you like all of my creations in just a moment. Um, you know, you can space it out, you can do whatever you need to do. Like, I love Canva because it's just so easy. Now, of course, there are some things that are not on Canva that are on Photoshop, you know, that give you more of a, they give you like more, I won't say more things, but it's just, it is a lot more things to do. Oops, I didn't mean to delete, uh, copy that. It's a lot more things that you can do with Photoshop and I've seen it, but I just, it's such a large learning curve to where it's just like, mm, no, I don't want to deal with it, right? So we can just do that, whatever. So I mean, this is just an example, but this is how I create them and we can make that bigger with it stuff. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, this is this is really how I create all of my YouTube thumbnails. Not all of them, but most of them kind of look similar to this. And the thing is, is that you want to make sure that you're using those blue, orange, green, yellow backgrounds to actually make it pop out more. And you want to make sure that you're using your brand font, you're using an image of you so that people know that this is your video. Okay, now I love the templates and everything that they have, but guess what, if I use this, that's not me you know yeah it it makes sense you know like okay this makes sense if you're like a beauty tutorial or a beauty uh, person on YouTube but my thing is that this is not you so if it's not you why would you use an image of somebody else on your video just like this like on your thumbnail because it doesn't resonate with people people are expecting this lady to be in the video but it's not and then they see you so sometimes I let them know like oh I don't I don't want to subscribe whatever whatever right um but see here you can like you know you can put your own images in things right and you can change it you can do whatever you want like that is what I love about Photoshop not Photoshop Canva because you can just change things you know you can change things out you can do whatever you want um, like this you have the creative process you can change that you have a background like it's it's really cool um, and I believe with this too you are able to change things out I don't know why it kind of froze on me but yeah you can change the pictures out and stuff like that um, so that say if you have a picture of you and you can put your photos like you know your title right there so it's a great way to um, you know have all of these do things like that um, I actually may use this for my next video <laughs> I actually kind of like that honestly um, it's very different so but yeah that's how you do all of that this is you know and then once you download it you download it up here and then um, if you have the pro version you can save it as a transparent background or you can compress the file size um, and then you just download it so save this is the one that I want and it's going to prepare my design and download it things like that so I know this video is longer than five minutes but this is how I create um, 
my own things on Canva, you know? So you can upload your fonts if you have a pro account. You can download your fonts um, and upload them. You can add images, you can add like so many different pictures, you know, that you have going on. You know, so many different pictures and images that you can use. But yeah, this is how I create all of my thumbnails on YouTube. Um, and I just want to show you what they all look like so that you can see like wow I've been I've been using Canva for a very long time so as I wait for this to load just a little bit all right go to my channel and as you see most of these that you see on my channel now have all been created on Canva okay I use Canva faithfully if you don't know anybody else who uses it faithfully I do Okay, so this is every single one of these I have created on Canva. Even that I created on Canva. Um, so it's fun. It's very fun to use. Um, it's very fun to like learn more about it, become better with it, things like that. So the more that you use Canva, the better that you become, as you can tell. <laughs> as I scroll through, you're just like, oh my God, this looks horrible. But the better that you become, you know, the more that you use it, the better you learn how to create certain things. Like, you know, it just looks much better, right? Um, but yeah, that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you very, very soon. All right, so how did you enjoy the tutorial? I'm so excited that you really learned my entire process of how I create and do my YouTube thumbnail. So it's really, really fun and easy to do. It may seem a little complicated. So let me know if you enjoyed this video. Just put that in the comments below and know that I do reply to every single comment that is on my video because I love talking to you all. So if you did enjoy this video, please like it, share it with your friends. And of course, like I said, comment below and I will see you all in the comments. All right, so take care and I will talk to you soon.